G'day, I'm Shuey from Smoked Barbecue Sauce and today I'm going to be grilling lamb cutlets with a pomegranate glaze that I've made up just to take them to that next level. Now if you do like this video, don't forget, give it the thumbs up, share it with your friends. But the best thing you can do for yourself is hit that subscribe and the bell button and that way you'll be notified every time we upload new content. So let's get into it. I love eating lamb and the cutlet would be one of my favorite cuts to eat. It is effectively a rack of lamb separated into handheld sized pieces of tastiness. Sometimes called lamb lollipops or ribeyes, doesn't matter what you call them, they are super tasty. When I do buy these, I normally don't need to trim them unless there is an excessive amount of fat on them. I may take a little off, but these ones look good as they are. I like real punchy herb flavors when it comes to my lamb and salt and lemon always work really well. So grab a bowl and into it throw three tablespoons of salt flakes, two tablespoons of lemon pepper, one tablespoon of dried rosemary, one tablespoon of dried oregano, one tablespoon of garlic powder, and one tablespoon of onion powder. Mix this up really good and put this into a rub shaker to make it easier to use later and for storage. Now, lay out the cutlets on a tray and drizzle with some olive oil. Then, using a basting brush, just brush them all over, making sure each cutlet gets covered. Now, sprinkle over the seasoning we just made. Flip and repeat the process, making sure they all get a good covering of the seasoning. Now, you can pop these aside while we get the barbecue ready. I'll be using a 22 inch Weber kettle for today's cook and I'll be utilizing a kettle cone or a vortex just to ramp up that indirect heat. If you don't have any of these, any hooded barbecue that you can cook indirectly away from the heat source and you can get temps up near 465 degrees Fahrenheit is gonna do the job. Firstly, I'm going to three quarter fill a chimney starter with briquettes and light it up. Once they are all ashed over, I'm going to dump them into the kettle cone. I'm then going to put the lid on, open all the vents and allow the grill to warm up for about five minutes. So the grill is nice and hot. It is time to get those lamb cutlets on now. Place the cutlets on the outermost part of that grill because that is the hottest. This is where that intense heat from the kettle cone is being directed to. Put the lid back on and keep all the vents wide open. If you didn't know, the Weber lid vent creates a hot spot. As the oxygen is sucked in through the bowl vents past the fuel around our food, it is then forced out through this lid vent. So to ensure an even cook, I recommend turning the lid a third of the way every 15 minutes. I think we need to take these lamb cutlets to the next level. So we'll be making a sticky sauce that is going to complement the flavors we're already using. Into a small saucepan, we need to put one tablespoon of pomegranate molasses, a quarter cup of maple syrup, a quarter cup of red wine, two tablespoons of dark brown sugar, three cloves of minced garlic, half a teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper, one teaspoon of salt flakes, 50 grams of unsalted butter, three cloves and a bay leaf. Stir and bring to the boil, then reduce the heat to simmer for about 10 minutes, just to reduce the sauce, stirring occasionally. Now mix one tablespoon of cornstarch 
and a third of a cup of hot water just to make a slurry to help thicken up our sauce. Slowly adding it to our mix and whisking it thoroughly. Now, discard the cloves and the bay leaf and set the sauce aside. I'm cooking at a high indirect heat of 465 degrees Fahrenheit today. Larger cuts of lamb really don't like to be cooked past that medium, but I find with cutlets and loin chops, you can push them a little further just to get that nice crusty outer that we all love. By using indirect heat, they are gonna stay super juicy on the inside without us having to do that fire dance we all do. You know, when flare ups happen, when you're cooking directly over the heat source. These cutlets are going to take around 45 minutes. Wait until you see these cutlets. I remember the first time I cooked them using this method. When I lifted that lid, I was super happy with the results. Look at that, how good do they look? I have to stop myself grabbing one off the grill to eat straight away every time I cook these. Burnt fingers are a common hazard at my place. Place them on the serving platter and then drizzle over some of that pomegranate sauce we made and garnish with, some, with a drizzle of some extra virgin olive oil and also some lemon thyme leaves. I know you only have my reaction to go off on what these cutlets taste like, but these are my favorite thing to cook in the world and the aroma coming off these is absolutely incredible. So it's time to dig in. There was never any doubt the flavor is off the chart. The salty hit with the herbs and the lemon, then the sweet sauce hits the palate. They are super juicy, even though we pushed them a little further. Well, there you have it. Lamb cutlets grilled indirectly with a super tasty pomegranate reduction. If you'd like to check out this recipe a little further, there is a link in the description to the website with a full list of ingredients and step-by-step -step instructions. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Today, I'm gonna be cooking into hand-sized, split into, I like real punchy flavors when it comes to my lamb and garlic and herb <laughs> I like real punchy herb flavors when it comes to my I like real punchy herb flavors when it comes to my lamb and lemon and no that was crap if you didn't know I'm gonna yell at you <laughs> as the auction uh, no, uh, is then forced out through the lid vent. This creates Shut up! <laughs> so we'll be making a sticky sauce that a gut that is oh. Why? So my neighbors decide to do every hobby when I film. It's the middle of the day, middle of the week, why? Well, there you have it. Lamb cutlets grilled indirectly with someone knocking at the door with a brick. <laughs>